uh, this uh, a quick uh, video about um, master slave installation. For this video, we'll be having a, a master device F18, the magnetic lock, the slave device FR1200, and the power supply unit that will be used to power everything and how it works. For the F18, this is what comes with the F18, the device, the casing, and some cables. And for your FR1200, we have the device with some of its cables and casing. This should be used to achieve the installation on the standalone terminal. Installation will be needing three cables, which is the power cable to be terminated here. We we'll also have the the cable that controls the lock and other accessories that has the an exit button. We we'll also have the cable, the Wigan cable. The Wigan cable, which also houses the other communication. So these are just the three major cables required for this standalone installation. We we'll connect each one to the power unit. This goes to the 12 volts. I've not powered it up. But the connections will be will be done. The power supply unit is 12 volts, 5 amps. So this will power all One supply unit, one power supply unit to power all three major devices here. Same power supply unit is going to power up the the slave device, which is the FR1200. All cablings, all cablings are terminated before the mode of communication between these two devices, we'll be using the RS485 mode on the device, which is the last two colors here, the yellow and the blue. The yellow for the positive, and the negative, that's for it. 
RS485 positive and negative. And next up is the lock combination. Lock here, it's the yellow and the red come and positive of lock. Yellow here is the NC. All this part up by a single pass of line unit. So next is to confirm registration of users. New user ID one fingerprint. Register the fingerprint and also register a badge number goes for so from from the video after all the cables are done you. you can gain access from here and also gain access Thank you. from here. So this actually you don't need a software to achieve this, just the cables would give you directly what you want. And the registration of users on the master device, we can either use the card or we use our biometric to gain access, which is for authentication. So using this biometric Thank you. to gain access you will see, notice that the lock went into an open state after five seconds it goes back to the lock state now it's in the lock state using the master um, the slave device also for verification the door is open by going off now it's come back to a lock state after five se seven seconds so you can also use your card from the slave device, which also confirms that the log is off, which gives you access to your particular, or you can also use the card on the master device and the log also goes off. All this is done on a standalone terminal, which means we really don't need the software at this point. Thank you, and that's how a master slave uh, installation is achieved. Thank you.